good morning and welcome to Southside Baptist Church. We really are grateful that you came to worship with us this morning. When you get this message, me and Jennifer and a few others will be over at First Baptist Church in Nashville, uh, hopefully having had a great marriage conference and then preaching over there this morning uh, on marriage as well. And I appreciate all of you who have prayed for us. Let us know that you're praying for us and we, we really do hope God will use us over there. We've got several things that I want to mention to you. First of all, before I even go any farther, I just want to thank Brandon for being willing to come and to preach for me this morning. And uh, I know all of you are glad to see him. He's one of our own, him and Carmen and their family. And uh, so thank you, Brandon. Appreciate you being willing to come and help us out this weekend. A few other things that we have coming up that I want to mention. Uh, we're going to have a men's night out, a men's fish fry at Lake Vern, just outside of uh, of Homerville there on 187. That's going to be on Thursday, March the 4th. We're going to eat fish at 6 o'clock and then have a great speaker come in for us, uh, Matt Green, a guy I went to seminary with, a good friend of mine. He's going to be coming down and speaking for us. So if you're a man in here and you want to go to that, we'd really encourage all of the men. Uh, ladies, won't you elbow your husband right now, let him know that he needs to go to that that night. And uh, you can sign up for that. We've got a sign-up sheet in the four. We're asking everybody who's, who's planning to come, if you can, to please sign up. Let us know so we'll know how much fish that we need to cook. We're partnering, of course, with Cornerstone in that. And also Shiloh Church, which is Jennifer's home church, uh, will be joining us as well. Uh, coming up on uh, March the 28th, I want to remind you that there will be high attendance day here at Southside. We are really encouraging people to get involved in Sunday school. As you know, Vic's worked very hard at this, and so we're going to put this together. That's Palm Sunday. So if you will, start planning now to come out and be with us at Sunday school that morning for high attendance day. There will be a children's meeting this Wednesday night. That's the 24th of uh, February. Uh, so if you're involved in children's ministry any whatsoever, from Outback Kids all the way down to the nursery, to Sunday school, if you will, please come to that meeting. Got a lot of important information we need to share in an organization we need to do, so please uh, come to that. Doug Commander will be with us on March the 7th, Sunday, March the 7th. He's going to be here for Deer Fest, stay over with us and share his testimony, and we look forward to having the Doug Commander with us. Please invite others to come and be a part of that. Going to take up our offering now. We're really trying to emphasize the importance of giving. I want to read a passage of scripture to you that I, means a lot to me. That Jesus spoke this. He said this. He says, Give and it shall be given to you. Good measure, pressed down, shaken together, running over, they will pour into your lap. For by your standard of measure, it will be measured to you again. I've been thinking this week, having been challenged in my own life in the area of giving, did you know that the greatest guard against greed is giving? And so I want to challenge you, if you will, this morning begin to give faithfully to the Lord. We have so much we want to do in this church. So many ways to take the gospel to the nations. And, uh, and we're starting that, but it takes resources. It takes the resources of God's people and the willingness and the generosity of God's people. So if you will, I ask you this morning, prepare to give. And uh, we're praying for y'all as we're over at First Baptist Nashville. We want you to know me and Jennifer do and our girls, Laura Gale and Ken Ken, that we love you, so blessed to serve you, and can't wait to be with you tonight at 5 o'clock, not 6, 5 o'clock tonight, and we'll be looking at a message tonight entitled The Devil's Portrait. So come back tonight, that'll focus on the family. So all families, we invite you to be back with us at 5 o'clock tonight. We'll have you out of here by 6 o'clock. God bless, we love you. See you this evening. 